John Bardeen. Hello, everyone. Today I'm excited to take you on a journey into the world of transistors and electronics. But don't worry. We're going to keep things easy to understand, using simple words that everyone can grasp. So let's dive in. John Bardeen. Imagine a tiny switch like the one you use to turn on a light bulb. Now picture a switch that's super small, so small you can't even see it without a microscope. That's the magical world of transistors. John Bardeen. A transistor has three main parts, the collector, the base, and the emitter. Think of these like three friends working together to get a job done. John Bardeen. Inside the transistor, there are these even tinier things called electrons. They're like little bundles of energy that love to move around. John Bardeen. Now imagine these electrons as a bunch of energetic kids. When we apply a small signal to the base of the transistor, it's like giving those kids a little nudge. This nudge makes them want to move from the collector to the emitter. John Bardeen. Now here's the cool part. When those electrons move from the collector to the emitter, they carry energy with them. Just like a group of kids lighting up a light bulb by running around it. John Bardeen. But guess what? We can control how many electrons flow from the collector to the emitter. It's like adjusting the volume on your favorite song. Turn it up and more electrons flow, making the light brighter. Turn it down and fewer electrons flow, making the light dimmer. John Bardeen. So, when we nudge the base with a small signal, it's like turning on a switch. The electrons start flowing and our device springs to life. John Bardeen. Think of transistors as amazing little switches. When we give them that tiny nudge on the base, they let the electrons flow, and that's when the magic happens. John Bardeen. Now, let's talk about something you use every day, your smartphone. Inside it, there are thousands, even millions of these tiny transistors. They work together to make sure your phone can do all its cool tricks, like playing videos, sending messages, and taking pictures. John Bardeen. But transistors aren't just for phones. They're the hidden heroes behind all sorts of electronics. They power up your computers, help send signals through the airwaves, and bring those stunning images to life on your TV screen. John Bardeen. You know, even though transistors might seem like small fry, they're actually giants in the world of technology. They're the reason why we can do so much with our gadgets today. John Bardeen. So there you have it. A simple adventure into the world of transistors and electronics. These tiny switches are everywhere, quietly making our lives better and more fun. Keep exploring, keep learning, and who knows, maybe you'll come up with the next big idea in electronics.